Merry Christmas, Gemini love. Welcome to Soul Sparks Tarot and your love reading for the week of December 21 to 27. Or when you come upon this video is when you're meant to hear it. This is a general reading so it may resonate with you or it may not. The energies I tap into here may be vice versa. And if this isn't your story, my readings for your moon, rising, and Venus signs may be more fitting. So kindly check those as well. Or feel free to book a personal reading through my email address in the description box below. Let's close your eyes for a moment. Let's calm our minds and be at peace with what is. Now take a deep breath and let's begin. We got judgment at the bottom of your deck. And this card could point to a phone call, an invitation, or an announcement. I'm hearing naked truth. Somebody needs to own up to their actions here, I feel. This card is about atonement and accountability. I feel this connection has long been dead, so to speak, and someone wants to bring it back to life. Major changes are imminent in your life with regards to this connection, because this is also a card of rebirth after an awakening. I feel there is a need to realign the past to the now and the future. You may need to make a judgment call this week. Some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio. The energy of your love life this week is the Page of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Emperor. I feel your person is making an offer to reconcile or to resurrect this connection. Either you're married to them or were in a serious commitment with them in the past. If you're not married but was in a serious commitment with them, this may be a material offer, like an engagement ring even, or something tangible. Or it could be an offer to settle down. Either way, they are aiming for a commitment here. And I see you looking, you're looking at this offer, but you're not moving from your position. I feel you're making it very clear to this person that you're not going to be swayed by their offer. They could even be a bit intimidated by you or intimidated by you. The, the emperor trumps all the other cards in the deck and his way out of the Pages League. And the Page of Pentacles is self-aware. He likes to know where he stands. And I feel your person may have an idea that they're not very deserving of you. Or at least they know that you're more mature than they. All right, now, how does your person feel about you? We got the Wheel of Fortune the Queen of Wands, and the Three of Pentacles. They want to change their luck with you, is what I'm hearing. And they're very interested in coming together and making this work. The Queen of Wands is always after her heart's desire. She likes to breathe new life into her life and situations. It could also be that this situation changed or took a turn for the worst even because someone else had piqued your person's interest. For some of you, this may have happened in the early stages of your relationship or the other person wanted to start a relationship with them. All right, now, how do you feel about your person? We got the Seven of Swords, the Ten of Cups, and the Five of Pentacles. 
in the past you may have wanted an ideal future with them a happy home life a family a family even that works but they weren't very honest with you i feel they may have done things behind your back that deflated your dream of a happy ever after with them i feel you've closed your door on them because of what they did left them out in the cold shut them out of your life and i feel that they're trying to mentally strategize here on how they could get you to let them back in and revive this dream with them all right now what do you need to know about this connection we got here the eight of wands the star and the world in reverse Yes, they're still wishing for you and are still in love with you, and very much so. They refuse to let this connection end. They want you back in their world. They look up to you and dream about you. And I feel that you could expect a visit from this person, or a call, or an invite. They want to talk to you. No, they desire to talk to you. They're not over you at all, my dear Gemini. All right. What is the outcome for you this week? We got the Ten of Wands, the Three of Cups, and Strength. Some of you could be dealing with a Leo. I also see Aquarius here. Well, Aquarius is the star here. What to do, Gemini? What to do? They're going to push for this meeting to happen, I feel. And either they're not going to give up no matter how much energy this takes away from them, or you're going to tell them to give it all up already. Because you've finally found the strength to move on. And they should do. So what's it going to be, my dear Gemini? It's your call. All right. Now, let's get you some further guidance from the Whispers of Love deck. Spirit, what other messages? Thank you. Receive with love and appreciation. Gracious acceptance is a way to show love. Thank you, Spirit. One more, please, for my dear Shemina regarding this connection. One more message, please. Please show me what I need to see. For my dear Shemina. Oopsie. Got to. Love who you are. You are divine, delightful, and deserving of the wonderful things life has to offer. And... Be willing to express love. Express love to receive love. All right. Let's look at the bottom of your deck. We got be authentic. Be real and true to who you are and how you feel. And there you have it, my dear Gemini. Merry Christmas once again, and I send you love, light, hope, healing, and many blessings. Raise the vibe and sparkle on.